Hi, this is Alan and Catherine Scott, and uh, we're just here to tell you a little bit of the story behind my new album, Speak To Me. And really for us, this is more than a story of an album. This is the story of building an altar. And of course, we've done that before in our life, but it was the first time that we'd begun to do that as family together. And so many of the songs really document that story of surrender, of learning to yield our whole selves to Jesus. We were actively, joyously leading our church in Northern Ireland, stunning work of the Holy Spirit in that place. And in the middle of that, at the height of that, in one of our conferences, one of our friends was speaking and he said, hey, we sense it's time for some of you to build another altar. And we knew in that moment, God had spoken. And of course, when God speaks, everything changes. We knew at that point that the Lord was gonna uh, lead us to America, although we didn't quite know what for or why. Zan said we were leading really the church of our dreams at that point, and it was stunning to see what the Lord did. And all the while, I'd also started to write songs with Martin Smith, which was just such a fun journey. And uh, so these songs started to document what was going on, not only in our church in Northern Ireland, but also for us as a family. And as the Lord spoke to us and we realized He was uprooting us and moving us to America, it was a real journey for us, especially for our kids. I remember Sophie, our eldest, she was, was she 15? 15. She would go up to her room and um, we told our girls about it and asked them to pray about it before we spoke to anybody else. She would go up to her room over and over again and we could hear her crying which is just heartbreaking as parents, isn't it? And um, But she, she had her headphones on and she was worshiping. So she would be singing and crying her heart out. And um, then she'd come down after quite a while each time and she would little tear stained face and she'd just say, it's okay, I really do think this is Jesus. And that really was what it was like for, for all of us. Our hearts really were breaking in the middle of um, coming to the altar. It, it really does cost you everything when you come to the altar again, but there's nothing more beautiful than following the voice of the Lord. And we just kept hearing Him speak to us. Um, what that resulted in was we came to a place where just a month before we left uh, to, to move to America, we recorded this album live in uh, Causeway Coast Vineyard, our home church at the time. And um, it was just the most beautiful surrender moment. We did not know what we were moving to. We had no jobs. <laughs> we had nothing to come to. We just had that one thing, just the voice of Jesus. And uh, so we recorded those songs. We thought that that album would come out probably just a few months later, but that was another journey entirely, wasn't it? <laughs> it, it really was. And, and that was our expectation that it, it would be released pretty quickly. But again, having laid everything down, you want to be careful on what you pick up. And so for us, the journey began with the voice of the Lord. We wanted it to be sustained by His voice. And we sent some restrictions even around permission on release. And we thought that'd be a period of time. We thought we'd have a great story of how it was restricted for a period and then opened up. But actually, the longer it went on, the clearer it became that, that this was not the time yet for this recording, that we didn't have permission to do this, that there was something else. And there was another moment in time where the recording and the album would be released. And of course, the journey was still forming in us, even until uh, taking the position here at Vineyard Anaheim, which has been life giving to us in every way. But even then, we still didn't sense permission to release until a few months ago, right? Yes, and it's just wonderful. You know, sometimes whenever you, um, when you step outside your door and you can smell something different in the air it, and you know that the season has changed. And that's exactly what it was like. We suddenly realized, wait a minute, this is the time. And um, just in the, the few months before releasing the album, everything just started to slot into place and we realized, wow, this, the Lord has made provision for this. The Lord is speaking into the timing of it. And now is the time to release it. And of course, we had no idea that COVID would be happening and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, now as we release this album, we realize that these songs of surrender are unlocking something in those who are hearing the songs and singing the songs, that that, that place of surrender is where we all are and that the Lord has made provision for each one of us to step into the fullness of what He has for us in this season. 
Yeah, and I can't think of a better time, honestly, to release this in terms of we all have this journey of transition. We're all in this moment of reset. We're in this awareness of the certain things that we're laying down and other things we're picking up. We desperately need to hear from Jesus. Many of us are learning what it looks like to live by faith, to take the leap of faith in this moment and discover again that Jesus is all we need. So we're excited to share this with you. It's been a while coming for many of you. And for some of you, you've no idea uh, of the journey in it and you're just enjoying the freshness of it but we just wanted to share a little bit of our heart our story and our journey of surrender and praying that god would unlock and invite you into a similar journey and story wherever you are today yes.